the road again. Today I've not really felt like working outside. I'm actually dealing with closing down the partnership. It was a partnership that I had with my dear friend Yvonne. And I'm off to see my accountant or the business's accountant to close down the partnership now. So I'm off to Stockport. Both my mum and my dad grew up in Stockport and my school holidays were spent with my mum's mum and dad, my nana and my grandpa and it was always my happy space, happy place. Um, being with them was always a joy. So I like going to Stockport. Lots of lovely memories. Lots of family lived in Stockport originally. And it's just nice. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to go and find a NatWest bank because I still have to deal with an estate and I need to uh, prove the estate and then I can see exactly what's happening and monies can be transferred out so I'm going to do that this afternoon so decided to put a bit of slap on <laughs> and um, sort my hair out and so I'll go and get those two jobs done and then I will come back home. So I'm just about to get on the orbital road from Manchester onto the M60. So I'll close this conversation for now and I'll be back with you later on. And good morning. I'm at the van this morning. I've got a number of things I have to do today, including going off out. I am making up a list of things that still need to be done. Um, I need to work out which order everything needs to be done. And hopefully I can start to get things finished. Everything is all over the place at the moment and I need to start finishing individual things, securing all the cabinets to the bulkheads and I haven't done any of that yet and that needs to be done. They need to be secure so that they're not shifting around when the vehicle's in motion. Um, so, I started the list, I keep adding things, I think I'm going to start at the top and work my way down. Had a very interesting moment the other day with rain, um, it, just before we went down to Gloucestershire for the funeral that we attended for my mother's partner Rick we um, Tom suggested that I drop the concertina roof secure it and not a problem just in case there was a gale up here and uh, I did that and put it all in place and we came back and about two three afternoons ago I came into the van and decided, yeah, I'm going to have to lift it again because I wasn't able to work without bending right over, no headroom. So I lifted it and it was a bit like a couple of waterfalls. Um, the water had got in underneath and it absolutely, well, there was a lot of mopping up to be done, so um, there's a few choice words as well. Um, so I need to have a look at the roof itself 
um, the, the pop-up section of the roof. Um, but I've got a feeling that might be another investment um, further down the line. Um, what I have proposed to do now is when I finished everything and I simply want to get in her and I want to go somewhere, I will arrange that when she's in the drive, she has a tarpaulin completely over the roof space in order to try and make life a little drier. Um, when the roof space is down, not a problem. But the minute I lifted it, um, yes, it was all coming off the concertinas and it was landing all over the place. So I literally had to quickly lift it up, put the chocks into place, and then I had to do an awful lot of mopping up. Um, I haven't told him indoors yet about this, but I thought we'll get the engine out of the way and make sure she's running really, really well. And then perhaps I'll um, just mention it in passing. Um, but he has actually commented that perhaps I need to think about um, further down the line, if I'm going to keep her, and I, I really do want to keep her, and having invested so much time, energy and finance in her, um, we have talked about her being resprayed. But being resprayed and taken back to her original, her, sorry, bleh, get me words, her original colour, which actually isn't the blue. It's a, it's a very pale green. Um, I don't know whether I can show you. Yes, actually I can. Just one second and I'll turn you around and show you what the original colour was and show you obviously again what the colour is now. And this is what we've got. This is actually a green and it really is rather a lovely green. And then if you come outside, you can see the difference. I mean, the contrast between the two co colours is huge. And the V5 actually states that she is green and white, which she should be, rather than this, actually, what ends up looking like in-your-face blue. Um, so I think I'm very keen further down the line, perhaps investing um some financing getting her painted back to her original color which would be rather nice but that's for another day so in the meantime i will carry on i will get the inside sorted the list is getting longer my biggest job is getting the doors sorted and getting the doors back on and really making her look absolutely lovely. I do still want to round the edges of the doors, although if you look, if originally the, the doors would be with a rounded door on, but I I want to do that, but not to the extreme. So I've got the doors cut out it's just cutting those curves and they can be quite awkward to cut with a jigsaw but you know I'm getting used to using a jigsaw with or without protective gear um, and I want to see that done I want that soft edge rather than um, the hard 90 degree corners so I think what I'll do is I'll sit further in her just for a wee while and just soak her up and decide what else I need to do. Um, there's still some painting to do, there's touching up to do. I just want to get her really nice. I've done nothing about the front cab. That's, that's going to be that's going to that's going to cost quite a bit to do especially with new seats um but i do want to have the new seats in i want the authentic seats i don't want these recaro seats in her anymore um but i will have to live with that for now and <coughs> excuse me and we'll see how it take how it goes um 
she's ever evolving um so yeah i think i'll just crack on and let's get something on the list done i can tick it off and then do the next thing so i will see you all in a while